Hello Leia users and welcome to the ninth Leia video tutorial. In this tutorial we will go over how to incorporate Google AdSense into your web page. So in order to do this however let me just start by addressing the fact that not every single website is a good fit for Google AdSense. Okay, And whether or not you or I think it's a good fit is pretty much irrelevant because Google reserves the right to approve or deny your AdSense application as they should, right? Uh, based on a number of factors. So a few of the things that you want to do and make sure you you know do your due diligence on your own, do some Googling, make sure your site meets this criteria. But a few things that I'm going to tell you now is that you need a privacy policy, right? So you need to have somewhere on your page some link to a privacy policy. There are free tools out there that you can use to generate a generic one or you can go fancy with it and hire a lawyer to do it for you. It's not super complex, but you definitely need one. Okay, so that's one thing. You need traffic to your website, right? You need to have had steady traffic to it over time that Google can track, right, to justify showing ads in your page, as well as a lot of content, right? Google wants to see websites that are rich in content that users will go to to get information to justify, again, showing ads in the page. So if your website meets all of that criteria and you feel that you're ready to incorporate Google AdSense, go ahead and give it a shot because it's free to apply. There's no harm in doing so, right? And if you don't get approved, it doesn't hurt you in any way. Okay, so if you'd like to continue, that's what we're going to do in this video. So in the last video, we went over how to use this custom content section here, which until we upgraded to Leia Pro was whited out just like this multiple pages section. But we were able to make use of this add section button here last time. And now we will be able to make use of this Google ad section because this was also whited out before we upgraded. Now we're good to go. So this includes a little bit of information about what AdSense is, right, and how we can incorporate it into our web page. Um, if you use a site.live subdomain like we have here, like consult.site.live, you're going to want to use just site.live for the domain name when it asks you for it. And the, the steps for signing up for Google Ads is pretty simple. We've already done so in this video and, or excuse me, prior to this video. So the page that I'm going to show you in a second includes our publisher ID. Um, but you can follow the steps if you just go to google.com slash AdSense on your own. Super simple, quick and easy to get to the page that I'm about to show you now. Okay, so this is the page that you're going to get to when you sign up for AdSense. It's super simple. Google.com slash AdSense, right? And then it's going to give you, basically going to take you to this URL here. And it's going to give you some code. But you don't have to worry about all this code. Leo worries about this code. All you need to worry about is getting your publisher ID. So there are a few different ways in which you can get one. Um, first and foremost, it's right up here in the address bar. Right? I can just copy this. This is my publisher ID. And this is all I need to go back to Leia and get myself set up with Google Ads, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, down in here in the code, you can copy it right here, pub slash dot, 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 right? All this stuff, this is your publisher ID. Um, and then you'll also receive an email with it. And you know, if you just check the email that you use to sign up, you'll have it right at the top of that first email you get, and you can copy it from there. But anyhow, it's all the same, no matter where you get it, you're gonna wanna press copy, okay? Go back to the edit site and paste it right in here. Okay, when you click apply, Leia will inject that code into your web page and you're good to go. All you have to do now is save your changes. All right, now go back into Google AdSense and indicate that yes, I've pasted the code into my site, then click done. All right, and now you're all set. So. Google says this usually takes less than a day, but in some cases it takes longer. Um, basically, they need to review it and make sure that it's all good. If they deny it, sometimes they'll give you messages as to why, sometimes they won't. But again, it's usually one of those first few things that I mentioned in the initial video. And unfortunately, if Google doesn't feel that your site is ready to show ads, you're not going to be able to. Um, it's just the way that it is. But best of luck to you and hope you found this video helpful. Um, the next and final video of this 10 part series is going to be on how to use that multiple pages section to add multiple pages to your website with Leia Business. Alright, so thanks for tuning in for this one and we'll see you in the next one.